it's uh, 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 actually uh, uh, I should thank the organizers to give me an opportunity to speak about the innovative product, which we are actually uh, already launched in India, but now we are taking it to Africa as well. Uh, I represent uh, CGN Research, and I'm working for Amel International Instruments Private Limited, and uh, we are uh, actually partnered together to market this product uh, internationally. Here about uh, CGN Research, uh, she has just introduced me that you know I'm uh, Saloni Gosalia. I'm the business development manager for uh, CGN Research and uh, Amel in, uh, International Instruments. CGN is uh, the ISO 9001-2008 certified and CE approved, as well as uh, uh, 13. 485 2003 approved company. It has won a uh, lot of uh, mm, uh, medals for the innovation, what uh, has been done, and the brain behind the innovation about uh, uh, the product. What I'm talking about is uh, Thermoscan. And uh, Dr. C. Jairaj, he's from India. He's the person who is the brain behind this particular technology, which is based on uh, the nano particle-based IR sensor. So I'm going to talk to you about uh, a uh, technology which is a simple, painless, non-evasive uh, technology for screening, uh, early screening of diabetic foot, uh, for uh, image inflammation, and uh, for the high-risk uh, early detection of uh, breast cancer. So this is the uh, system what I'm going to talk to you about. And uh, especially uh, what I have noticed in India and uh, in Africa, after uh, actually attending a lot of camps and screening myself uh, using this system, we do highlight about you know the other disease area, but uh, then the uh, disease area which is basically for diabetic foot, which is supposed to be, diabetes is supposed to be a silent killer, and uh, uh, the risk what women normally have uh, for breast cancer, we normally tend to avoid that. Rather not avoid, but we don't actually you know, concentrate on this particular field. So uh, I would love to share uh, the uh, case studies also. Uh, that would be done later. But uh, about the technology, it provides, uh, as I said, it's a non-invasive uh, diagnostic tool. Uh, basically, uh, there's no harmful radiation or anything been actually uh, uh, the patient as well as the uh, person who is actually uh, doing the treatment and uh, doing the diagnostic is uh, exposed to. So its basic concept here is just a kind of a heat emitted from your body has been screened and uh, produced as a thermal image for uh, basically uh, understanding the path pathological changes with regards to uh, the uh, muscular, skeleton, vascular system. And uh, uh, it's also actually, you know, uh, been uh, uh, focused for uh, other physiological level changes. Um, as I said that this is a kind of a patented technology uh, which is based on man, uh, nanoparticle based and the screening is uh, basically uh, uh, an, uh, visual evidence for uh, uh, the diagnosis and the, uh, it's actually a boon to uh, the doctors to make uh, uh, the treatment much better and to address uh, the uh, patient in a better way. There's some feedback which I, I said that, you know, I have already been to Africa uh, for, uh, you know, getting a feedback about this instrument and also we have done certain camps here in India. So one of the camps which I had recently done uh, in Africa was in Zambia uh, in Ministry of Health uh, Cancer Disease Hospital where I had screened around 15 to 20 uh, women for uh, their uh, breast cancer. This is a technology, actually it's, uh, it's not a kind of a replacement of a technology which is existing like uh, mammogram, uh, MRI and all those, but it's just an adjuvant technology where uh, uh, it can be, uh, you know, used for an early detection of any kind of disease. So this is uh, just a kind of a feedback what I have received uh, from Dr. Kennedy Lissimpi. He's an executive director at Cancer Disease Hospital when I had introduced Thermoscan to them. 
and uh, this is basically placed in a place where you know you have uh, the low and uh, medium income uh, uh, countries where you know you really uh, the people do not have that uh, kind of uh, um, urge and a need to do a health testing uh, because uh, the uh, health care uh, and uh, the testing is very expensive. So uh, I would definitely like to share more details about Thermoscan uh, at the DAS. And uh, here uh, it's not only in Zambia but then uh, just uh, during my recent visit in Ethiopia I had an opportunity to meet the first lady uh, 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 where she has actually launched uh, the cancer, uh, National Cancer Committee uh, uh, for an early uh, detection and prevention of breast cancer. So we are doing a uh, lot of things uh, for the African market and Indian market as well. Great. Thank you, Saloni. Thank you. We have a question. Thank you, Madam. Very interesting uh, presentation. Uh, Thank you. I have three questions. Uh, yes, sir. One is related to the cost of uh, this thermoscan. Okay. Second is the uh, skills required uh, right. to be able to, to use it. Okay. And the maintenance, that's it. Okay. Now, this is... Uh, Excuse me, if I can put a fourth one. Okay. <laughs> the level of accuracy compared to the mammogram. Okay. Uh, now, uh, uh, it's an inter interesting question, all four of them. I'll uh, take one by one. Uh, when it uh, relates to, I'll go with the uh, last question first. Uh, uh, when it relates to uh, the other technology, that's mammogram, uh, uh, we do not compare this uh, with regards to mammogram because mammogram, if I go a little bit into technical, it's more uh, focusing for the uh, woman having fatty breast and you can have a detection there much better. And uh, when it comes to a dense breast, uh, mammogram uh, has uh, actually, you know, not been able to pick up uh, such cases uh, and uh, could not detect the right thing. Uh, for the treatment. Uh, with regards to uh, the uh, mm, uh, yeah, costing, uh, well, uh, we have placed for the, um, uh, our uh, product positioning in the international market is uh, approximately uh, around 30,000 US dollars. And uh, here, uh, this particular product has uh, various uh, uh, advantages and applications. And a uh, few of them, uh, which I had already said, that it is basically for uh, uh, diabetic foot, for breast cancer, for pain management, for wound management. So it, it has, you know, a lot of uh, advantage uh, for the other uh, diagnosis, disease diagnosis as well. Uh, so if you don't mind, if you can just... Uh, yeah, skills required. Now, uh, we uh, at our end would... Uh, uh, strongly suggest that uh, uh, we at CGN Research, we would definitely like to actually impart training uh, to the person who is going to use this thermoscan and we are going to certify that person uh, uh, as a thermographer to use the instrument. But basically this instrument is used uh, by a radiologist uh, who actually uh, uh, does the screening uh, using the other technologies as well. Yeah. And uh, very soon, I think next month, I'll be uh, visiting Uganda as well as Rwanda. Uh, <laughs> and I have already uh, initiated contact with uh, Dr. Anita. Uh, she's uh, yeah, from uh, public health uh, and primary health care. And uh, I think Dr. Theophil, uh, he is the Director General for Clinical uh, Application in the Ministry of Health. Yeah. So, and maybe visited a few of the hospitals to get uh, some, you know, feedback uh, for the product. Yeah. Thank you. Yes? Just a quick question. Yeah. Do you see that you might have to do some alterations to the product mm -hmm. the scenario, or is it just going to be the same? Uh, or do you see some kind of alterations uh, needed? There's actually, uh, the product is such, and the innovation is such, that there's no alteration uh, needed for the African uh, market because the human here in India and in Africa or globally is the same. So the basic principle here is uh, uh, just capturing uh, the heat emitted because if uh, the baby, small baby uh, who is not feeling well and having fever, the first thing mother does is, 
you know checks how much is the body temperature so it works similarly on the same principle and um, i think um, uh, if there is something wrong in human body uh, the temperature indication is the best to actually detect uh, the fault or the yeah thank you thank you thank you